I think so. I I kind of get what you're saying, like as far as cloud and again, stop me if I'm wrong. You're saying basically like you like there are so many different forms of relationship, right? Like you're right. There's polygamy going around. There's people who support that. There's, I mean, monogamy. You know, there are people who support that. But I, I feel like at the end of the day, you're right. It is about relationships and how to relate to another person in general or to people in general. Um, and, and I think the solutions do need to be tailored around um, connectivity in general. Now, there are, I do believe that there are a lot of us who intend to, I mean, that's why we are here, right? Because we're talking about love, we want to connect, we want to, you know, come together. Um, but I don't think, I, I don't think it even go as deep as those other relationships, right, with the different titles and stuff like that, because we do have to get the fundamentals together first, if that makes sense. Now, if that leads to marriage, if that leads to having a polygamous, at least you understanding how men think versus how women think versus, you know what I'm saying, how we can have those conversations together because you're right, we're not going to be able to touch everybody's relationship. And and I, frankly, I'm not trying to touch everybody's type of relationship, you know what I mean? But I think that just goes into like, like for instance, if I'm at work, I don't talk about politics. I don't talk about, you know, um, LGBT. I don't get into those type of conversations because it's such a broad spectrum. But I think at the end of it, or at the beginning of it, I should say, it is foundational um, relating to other people, being able to listen, um, actively listen. But you know, you're gonna have a few people like, Hingle will be like, no, it's like this, and this is just how it is, period. You know what I'm saying? And I'm just throwing that out there because I feel like that's that's what these forms are for because there are people who won't relate to Hink and be like, that's how men should think, period. There are going to be people who, who relate to what I'm saying and be like, man, I'm more, you know, with the change in times, and, and, and now I have to adjust. You know, so I just, I don't know. I don't think it has to go as deep as other people's types of relationships, but I do think it has to have some type of fundamental understanding of how to connect with another person how much time you should take before you just jump in something that's polygamous or monogamous. You know what I'm saying? Like check that thing out before we, cause that's what we're talking about. We're talking about not wrecking our hearts no more as people. Right. You know? right. Uh, to, to, to elaborate. Um, yeah. Like the way I'm looking at it is like this. Um, I'm not saying that people shouldn't be married and all that, but what I'm saying is like, Sometimes we focus on people saying, oh, let's get married. This is what a healthy relationship looks like. Well, they're married couples where the husband's beating the wife. So what's more important? Is it more important that they're married or is it more important that they have a loving relationship? Same with the kids. Like, is it more important that the parents care for the children and are around and teach them things and educate them and, and are patient with them and kind with them? Or is it more important that the parents are together? I mean, I, I feel as though sometimes we just focus on the letter of the law sometimes and not on the spirit of the law. What's really import important is that if two people are coming together, especially to make children, that those people know how to deal with each other with love, especially in front of the children. And I feel like we miss that. We focus so much on, well, are they married? Are they not married? Well, that they could be married with no love and they're, they're not helping society anymore. And they could be unmarried with plenty of love and produce much happier, much more well-adjusted children to society. And I think that that's what we're really focused on. We're focused on the end goal of making society better, not just arbitrarily raising the marriage numbers. We only want to raise the but marriage see, numbers. That has to do with we, broken we, homes, we Cloud. We, we, we associate culturally marriages with a better society. But what I'm saying is in modern times, that's not necessarily true anymore. So I'm just saying maybe we need to focus on how we relate more than just the, the, the specifics of, OK, more people are getting married. You know, there's less divorces. Yeah. But are people loving one, each, one another like generally like are people treating each other kindly and well and helping each other and caring for one another? Because if everybody's married, but they beating on each other, don't mean nothing. And, but but see, uh, I Cloud, think that's that, why a lot of the women are not the... going to have kids either. Okay. I've been trying for a long time. Like, 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 I just want y'all to know, JR, have you been peeping how quiet I've been sitting? Please give me props for that. Ten Thank mics you. on, Miss hands. I need the cheers. Where's the sound effects? <laughs> <laughs> Okay. Can I add a comment behind Cloud to, to what he just said? Go ahead. I'm sorry. Okay. Yeah, go ahead. Um, so, 
you know, I'm just taking notes because I've been sitting there. So y'all got to give me a little more than two minutes. Um, <laughs> 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 All right. No. OK. One of the first things that we, we were talking about was the dating and how I think y'all were saying that dating should be simple and things like that. And I think that is part of the problem is that we're looking at dating as a game right? Oh, it's supposed to be simple. It's supposed to be fun. And da, da, da. But if you're dating with intention, it shouldn't be simple, right? It it, it, it should be a, a process of like intense, you know, thought, intense, like, you know, screening, all of those things. Like when you're trying to hire people for a job, you have a job description. You know exactly what it is you're looking for. It's a serious process. So I shouldn't, you know, waste my time on giving people opportunities that I already know that don't have the skill set for the job, right? That's something serious because you want to be able to have somebody that is going to be there for the long term, right? Um, so I think that's part of where I think dating has changed, speaking to a little bit with what Clout was saying, um, is that before when you dated, you dated and then got married. Because in that environment, everybody understood the assignment, right? Um, which was to, you know, have a family, like just follow that, that structure of the, you know, that time period back then. Um, I, I also would put that when you are more mature, you should know what you want and what you're looking for. So um, that should be kind of like in that first video that we saw. I think that's what was a reflection of what we saw is that her level of maturity and, you know, with older age should come wisdom. And I think she had a, a, a clear set on what it is that she was looking for, which you should men and women both. Um the other thing is, as the more mature you are, the more strategic you should be in who you're choosing and how you're dating. Um, and because people will waste your time if you allow them, especially if they're benefiting from your time. So you as a person have to be the timekeeper. And a way to be the timekeeper is to keep your standards up front and center and making sure that you're aligning whoever you're dating along with that. And if they're not, then you move on. Like, what are we wasting time for? Um, but the caveat to that, too, is also patience, um, which you guys brought up. Um, and a, patience is important because things are always revealed in time, right? So if you're trying to rush that process, you may miss certain things, and then it comes out later on. Um let me see. So that, oh, an example of that, like, I, I, I know Hank was giving this an example. I, I don't know if it was true, you know, but if he believes it or not, like, he's like, by the third date, you're going to be giving me your credit score. I need to know your credit score and stuff. That that might be true. I know, Hank, that's probably true. Um, but as an example, I think things have to happen in timing too, right? Even within intentions, you need enough time to kind of see a person's character and and learn certain things about them. Um, I think Rami has said about the microwave, you know, dating or what have you. Um, I think that's part of that too. Like certain things that are personal, I need to enough time to get to know your character to see if I can trust you to reveal certain things, certain things that are very personal, right? Um, and then... Somebody else has said something, I can't remember who, um, but I had wrote that there's a difference between, res oh, Viz, you was talking about more, I think you and Clout were talking about morals. Um, and I do think there's a difference between respecting and accepting. I can respect you, but I don't have to accept your lifestyle, your belief system, your political stance, all of those things, but I could still respect you.